we're given the position vectors of two points, A and B. So O to A, we're given as three minus two, and then we're given O to B as well, which is five, four. And then we're told that point C lies on the same plane as A and B, such that A to B to B to C is a ratio of two to five. So we can write this ratio, or these pairs of ratios, this equation can then become a to b divided by b to c, so these two vectors divided by each other, is 2 over 5. And that would mean, if I were to rearrange for a b, let's say, a b is equal to 2 fifths of b to c. And we can also say that b to c, so rearranging the same equation again for b to c, if that's what we want to work out, that's 5 over 2 of a, B. Okay, so what are we trying to work out? So we're trying to work out the position vector of C. So let's think about how we can do that. So the position vector of OC, we can write as O to B plus B to C. O to B we have, B to C is this. So to work out B to C, we have to work out what A to B is. So let's do that now. A to B is A to O plus O to B, which is then the negative of this, so minus 3, 2, plus O to B, which is 5, 4. So this will be 2, 6. Okay, so then OC is then O to B, which is 5, 4, plus B to C, which is 5 over 2, multiplied by AB, which is 2, 6. This is then 5, 4, plus, so 5 over 2 times 2 would be 5, and 5 over 2 times 6 would be 15. So then we end up with O to C, being equal to, add these two things up, 10, 19. So this will be the position vector of C. So for part B, so we're told that D lies on the same plane as A and B, such that A, B, and D are collinear. So let's say this is A, let's say this is B. There is a line that goes through A and B. If A, B, and D are collinear, that means D is somewhere along this line. And we're told that the length of b to d, the magnitude of the vector b to d, is equal to 6 root 10. And we're trying to work out the possible position vectors of d. So d could be, for instance, here or here, such that these two lengths are both 6 root 10. It could be either one. And we're trying to work out those two position vectors of d. So, let's say this is our origin. What we can say is that b to d, because we know that the vector b to d is on this line, it therefore must be parallel to ab. And if it's parallel to ab, you can write it as a scalar multiple of ab. ab was 2, 6. So therefore, you can write b to d as lambda times 2, 6. Let's write that as 2 lambda, 6 lambda. And then if the magnitude of b to d is 6 root 10, well, let's work out the magnitude of b d from what we have here. That will be the square root of 2 lambda squared plus 6 lambda squared. This is then going to be the square root of 4 lambda squared plus 36 lambda squared, which is 40, or root 40 lambda squared. So if this is what the magnitude of BD is equal to, and it's also equal to 6 root 10, we can equate the two things. So root 40 lambda squared is equal to 6 root 10. I'm going to square both sides. So left-hand side becomes 40 lambda squared. 
square these two, that becomes 36 times 10, or 360. And then I'm going to cancel out the zeros, so we end up with 4 lambda squared is 36. Lambda squared is then 36 over 4, or 9. Lambda is then plus or minus 3. And it could be either one. It could be either positive 3 or negative 3. If it were positive 3, it's going in one of these two directions. And if it's negative 3, it's going in the other direction. So we can work out what BD is from this. BD is then, so BD was this, 2 lambda, 6 lambda. So let's put in lambda is equal to 3. So I'll times both 2 and 6 by 3. And we get 618. So that's one possibility. The other possibility is if we times it by minus 3. So minus 6, minus 18. But that's not what we want. In this question, we want the position vectors of d. So then, if we go from o to b, well, let's first write out o to d. o to d will be equal to ob plus bd. This is the same thing as, so o to b was 5, 4. So this is then 5, 4 plus either 618 or it will be 5, 4 plus minus 6, minus 18. So then our two possible answers are these two added together, which would be 11, 22. Or these two added together, which would be minus 1, minus 14. And those are our two answers are two position vectors of D.